huge news. We have our first software update in the Model S Plaid now. If you watch my Instagram and my Twitter and stuff like that, you probably already saw. Of course, I get it right when I drop off the car to get wrapped. But we finally got the car back and we're going to go ahead and install this update and see what exactly we got. Fingers crossed it's something good. Version 2021.32.5 will take approximately 50 minutes. But let's see the current version we're on here. We are on 2021.12.4.9. You can see this beautiful software update. So we're going to go and do that. And install now. And the quick trick, in case anyone's wondering, is if you tap this five times, it'll stop the clock and drop it all the way. So you can see, and we're updating. Okay, let's see what we got today. So release notes. So again, we are on 2021.32.5. Uh, we did just get this as well, kind of a combo update here. We had remain connect to Wi-Fi and drive. That's really great, actually. So people that use like Wi-Fi hotspots or whatever, that'll be really helpful. We have dash cam improvements. So dash cam can now automatically save clips when your vehicle detects an occurrence of a safety event. So that's really nice. I'll go ahead and kind of walk you through that one. So for the dash cam, if you do go under safety, you do have off manual auto and on honk. So on honk is anytime that this is blue. Anytime you honk, it'll save a dash cam clip. Auto will automatically save 10 minutes if your vehicle detects a safety event like accident or airbag deployment. Whereas manual will only save if you actually tap on it to record. And since I find it much easier just to put it on auto in case it detects anything. Dash cam viewer. So we uh, have that to launch. Tap the dash cam icon on the status bar and select launch viewer while the car is in park. The car is in drive, you will continue to save a clip by tapping the icon. Previously, to open this, you had to do a voice command. So either way, is kind of cool. So for the viewer down here on the car, you do have this right here. But anytime you click on this, it's going to record. And anytime you like long press on this, it'll turn the dash cam on or off. Here, basically just turning sentry mode on and off. If you actually want to see your dash cam viewer, you don't do that here. You do that through this bar and then click on the dash cam right here. And that will actually bring up your viewer. Currently, you can see exactly the car and everything. Mirror auto dim, you can now turn it on or off. So your controls and then your mirror, which is going to be right here. And here is it where you actually have auto dim as well as you previously have your auto fold and auto tilt. Um, so all that is easily found right there. Disney Plus, we now actually have that, so we can go ahead and log in and be able to watch anything we want on there, which is great. Disney Plus is going to be in your theater. Um, it's, it'll be pretty obvious if you have it, because you will have Disney Plus there. Accessibility update. Uh, child lock replaces camera under controls. You can still access camera via the bottom bar on your touch screen. Camera right here. And uh, adaptive suspension dampening. They have recalibrated the suspension dampening algorithm to allow for smoother control and improved ride comfort. Definitely love that. We've already talked about this. I need to do an official test, but their suspension is amazing. I do really like this new feature though, how you can kind of like click on everything and it kind of gives you a little bit more detail. Hopefully they continue to go into more detail as to what they do. Uh, just because I know some things are kind of just found by accident. And speaking of found by accident, this update includes something for your sound. So down here on your sound, if you click these three little bars, that will open up this audio setting and you can kind of tell I've played around with it a little bit. But now you have sub here. Previously, you never had that. It was only these five and I tend to go with like a typical V pattern there. But the cool thing with this is not only can you go negative so you can actually see it says a mute up there. But if you are all the way up, you can go to six. So six is as loud as you can go. But now if you take this one and go up to eight, you can go all the way up to like 11. We just had slapping. There's boom, burr, wub wub, burr. There's 11.0, boost, 9001.0, wub wub, wub wub, boost, boom. Like, so you can go really high and that really makes it bounce in here. 
So the one thing I actually want to do is see if I can show you this. Now, I'm not sure how YouTube and everything will be processing this video, but I'm going to go ahead and pull up NCS audio. Should be no copyright sounds on YouTube and play a song or two and see if I can convey that difference in sub through this. I have a feeling the camera and everything will pick it up. I'm just worried that through compression and everything, some of the sound might be lost. But let's see if we can show you the difference with sub now. And there's that if you ever want to kind of follow along. We are just on no copyright sounds. Uh, we're going to just go to videos, sort by most popular. Um, I think this one does have decent bass in it. So let's just try this one out. Okay. So that's like very flat when you have it on mute. Although I do have this all the way too. So that's just like a very flat sound. Not not great to my ears. So I like this. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, we can start to feel it. And now we're booming. Okay, so that is one thing if you would like to test this out in your own car, go to uh, No Copyright Sounds. I'll actually just link it down in the description. And Alan Walker Fade. You can really feel that with the subwoofer. It sounds so much better. Now, I know some people don't like that feeling, like the whole like shake feeling. Um, and there you now have an option though. You can either do it, which I will be keeping it on boom, or you could even mute the sub if that is something that you don't like. So options are great. And I love the fact that we now have the sub option. The only thing that I wish Tesla would do, and it's kind of like a lot of these things for updates is I wish they would have listed this in the audio settings for the update release notes. It wasn't in there and sub just came out. I did not have that when I got the car, but it is not in any of the release notes. But at least we have it now. So um, definitely something fun to play around with. I don't know if you guys have found any other secret menu items or anything else that's popped up in any of these more recent updates, definitely drop it down below and we will go ahead and check it out. But if you did get this recent audio setting update and you've tested it out, what do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you not? So the Model Y is currently on 2021.24.10 right there. And now for the music, if we go into our settings here, you can see we do not have sub. I really don't know if that's something they plan on bringing over to the Model Y or maybe Model S Plaid is only going to be having that uh, because of the extra audio system they have in there. Not entirely sure, but I do admit it is a very nice feature to have. But that's basically it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you are looking to accessorize your model SX3 or Y, definitely check them out. I'll link to down below and using code Tesla inventory will get you 15% off of your first purchase. Our two must have accessories are definitely going to be a center console wrap, especially if you have a model three or Y first or second gen console. It really does help protect that underlying material as well as make your car your own with any color or pattern choice that they have as well as a matte screen protector. It really helps cut down any glare from the sun and fingerprints thanks to its oleophobic surface. But that's basically it for this one. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.